Rock? No. Jutsu! Is it ninja versus samurai time? No. Damn it. Absolutely not. It is never. It will never be. No, it will. <laughs> Eventually. It'll happen. You know? It'll happen. No, today is today is a little bit off from our normal... Well, not necessarily off, but, you, you know, varied topics. So, we're going to be talking about is the anime or the manga better? I don't know if I'd say is the anime or the manga better. Is the manga always better is probably the better one. Yeah. Or web novel or light novel. Because I think comic. the general consensus is the source material is better. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, we're talking manga, manhwa, webcomic, uh, web light novel, novel, light novel. So yeah. pretty much anything. Um, is the manga always better or is the more catchy title? Yeah, is the manga always better? Is the better? source material always better? It's probably a more general, less catchy title, but... Yeah. Or is it even worth it to, to read the manga sometimes? Or is it worth it to watch the anime sometimes? Yeah, I know that that's a really continually depend. growing trend of question people ask is, why would... What, why watch the anime? Why not just find the stuff that people are being hyped on that season? Just go read the novel instead or read the yeah, manga instead. Yeah, because it can be faster. So we talked about this in our previous trilogy just a little at the end, but I have recently, with quarantine going on, gotten really, really into uh, reading manga, manhwa, webcomics, novels, everything mm -hmm. online, right? So I've read, oh God, just in the last like two weeks since I made a profile on a manga website. I think I've read like 130 new, new series that I'd never read before mm -hmm. uh, to wherever they're finished too. But uh, luckily the website like notifies me when I have new chapters. So I just go through and read them all, which is really convenient. Um, and a lot of it's because it's, fa it's so much faster for me to read whatever written media form it is rather than watching the anime, you know? Yeah, yeah. No, that's one of the big pluses of the written media form. Unless we're talking visual novels. Yeah. And I, okay, I'd say webtoon can and can't be. So sometimes like a webtoon can, depending on the art style and the way the like words are put and the, that kind of stuff, it can be a little longer. 70 though. chapters of Tower of God and the webtoon got turned into 12 episodes or 13 episodes. Exactly. In that case, it would be much shorter <laughs> to just watch the, you know, watch It does the, depend on the source material, but on whole, the general exception, the accepted idea is that if you're Especially with manga, the manga tends to be quicker than the uh, anime to get through. And far more mangas uh, finish and spin off than anime do. So you'll often see that like you can watch a season of something and it never gets a season two, but the manga keeps going and, and there's spin offs and the series finishes and all that kind of stuff. So sometimes you just have to read the manga if you want to know what happens at the end of a series. Mm -hmm. uh, this, ha this happened in the case of like, quite a few shows I know. 90% of the anime get produced never finish. Yeah, I mean, look at Fruits Basket. So it may be getting a proper adaption now, but the original series went non-canon partway through and then finished without any regards to the original Remember manga. Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. That anime originally ending went places. <laughs> yeah. And I, I think that can, and there's two types of anime being ended either before or differently than the manga. It's one, if they catch up with the manga and then if they choose not to do what Bleach did. And what Bleach did was just release filler seasons until they could release a proper season. So if you do what Fruits Basket and Full Metal Alchemist did, which was go for a completely different ending altogether, unrelated to the ending of the manga, and then later remake the series if it gets really popular, mm -hmm. right? Both of those series is did. Or you have other shows where they just only produced one season and that one season didn't garner enough interest to continue. It all comes down to the Blu-ray sales, but largely the season of anime is considered, and this is the case for almost every series you watch, the anime series is just one highly budgeted trailer for the manga or the original source material, usually. Exactly. So you may get lucky, right? And you're watching something like One Piece or Naruto where the entire thing gets adapted. Or... Or you get a um, Inuyasha where they cut out most of the middle parts because they want to finish the series for the anime fans. Yeah, the but final act specifically is what we're referring to. And that's a good... That's like a... Oh my God, we're we're living the high class example. Yeah. Then you, for every one of those, you still get a no game, no life where it cuts off like partway into the series. It yeah, never because two. yeah, it just did, it wasn't wasn't popular enough to you know it never got enough. You get uh, and the Katsuki no Yona, twenty four episodes, and it's 
you know, we may never get a season two. Yeah. You know, just because it didn't hit it big when it came out and it hasn't necessarily hit it big since. Sometimes you get like series where the anime is in limbo, like midway through. Hunter Hunter. Yeah. Because of hiatuses or other things. Noragami never got it caught up to the manga, but it just kind of stopped because, and now because it's been so long since, Noragami went off hiatus, but now it's been so long. Noragami's not continue hasn't announced any continuation of the anime yet. Yeah. So there's a lot of instances like where you're kind of forced to jump to the manga yeah. and the original source material. Yeah, and I think uh, it, it's also depending on how you want to get into certain series, right? Like, if you want a quick and dirty introduction to a lot of big series that are have been ongoing or are finished or are ongoing, your best bet for speed for quick and dirty is always going to be the manga. So I guess that does beg the question, why watch the anime? I think the thing with the manga versus the anime, right, is that manga, in my opinion, is a quick, quick way to get into stuff. It's the, you know, down and dirty, you're reading it yourself, you're going at a relatively fast pace, right? So you can read manga as fast as you can read words, in essence, as fast as it's translated. Whereas anime is, anime is more of a, an experience. Yeah. Anime is something that you sit down to and you watch and you enjoy and you savor the animation and the way it looks and the colors and just the movements of the characters and how well the animation. Even if you're not like a connoisseur of animation and soundtrack, even if you're like, oh yeah, those things were in there, you still notice it as you're like, if you cut out all soundtrack to it, to any series that you love, it's probably not, like, you're going to be like, something is off about this. And it's always going to be, um, so, and this is going to come off weird until I fully explain it, but it is less hassle to watch an anime. Because when you're reading a manga, your brain has to really put panels together. Like, you have to create the movement and the timeline between image to image. You need to read the words, look at the images, and your brain is what kind of puts it together into like... Mm-hmm. This is it, a sequence. It's easier to turn your brain off for an anime than it is for a manga. Not saying that you do that for every anime. No, not at all. Which is why I said if, if you took me at my first sentence, that yeah. would sound really weird. But with an anime, it's done for you. So all you have to do is sit and enjoy your experience, which can often come with incredibly good voice acting, great vocals, like amazing soundtracks. And honestly, one of the things I've, no- I've noticed when I watch an anime and then read the manga because the anime didn't finish is that once you've watched a, an anime, when you're reading the manga, you can hear the characters talking in their mm-hmm. voices. Like you, there's a sense of their movement and the way they look in color and the way they sound, which adds something to your reading experience. Gosh, I read, I actually read the bookworm light novel after finishing up the first season of the anime. And there was like, I won't you say could hear, like, there's like a character specifically where I could hear his voice yeah. holding the main character as yeah. he was doing it. Like, there, there's that little added bit where you don't necessarily have to create your own yeah. ideas, you know? There's also the, I mean, and I, 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 this is a purely selfish thing, but I actually really like seeing the color palettes, you know? Like, being able to associate certain colors with characters mm-hmm. is really nice, further than just hearing that, like, oh, he has green hair. But if you never see that he has green hair, you don't Sometimes really you forget know. Sometimes you just kind of stand in with whatever generic, like, person you can think of. Exactly. So I, so I think it's actually really, it's a really nice thing to be able to watch at least an episode or two, even if the anime doesn't turn out good. If you like a manga, you can maybe at least like get a sense of like sound and stuff by watching an episode of it. But there are also manga that you don't necessarily, for example, I am putting into our hat, uh, Shikoku no Altair or Altair Record of Battles. I read it as a manga. So there was this manga website called Manga Fox. And it used to have this function way back when I was in middle school, 2012 sure it's a pirating site and we do not condone pirating. Yeah, we don't condone pirating. We're going to actually have a video about pirating we were manga. S- stupid high schoolers and middle school. Yeah. Like I was broke. I was in like seventh grade. My parents didn't believe manga was a thing. They thought it was stupid. Like I, it was the only thing I could do to read it. And even now, some series just don't get translated. And I won't say it's a good thing to pirate them, but if it's your only way to get them in English, 
you know, and you really want to do it and you can't read Chinese. Now, you know, more power to you. I will say this will be a topic later. And yeah. This will transition. I also have less problem pirating like manga or light novels than I do pirating anime, yeah. how readily available anime is. That's the other thing. Anime is just so much more readily available than manga. Yeah. But with that being said, since we're going to talk about it in our next video. Um, so I read uh, Shikoku no Altair, A Record of Battles. Mm -hmm. way back in middle school on manga fox because manga fox had this option where i could just it was almost like the urban dictionary randomized button i could click random and it would just pop up a manga and i read the description and if i didn't like it i click random again and if i did like it i'd bookmark it and try it and i actually uh read a lot of my uh current favorite manga this way this is how i started reading perfect girl evolution this is how i started reading altair record of battles it's also um, how a lot of people find their favorite shows on the off-brand websites. Yeah. For, for, if you know what I mean by that. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but, you know, with that allowance to just kind of be able to, like, read, like, three or four chapters of a manga in the space of, like, 15 minutes to an hour, right? And I know what it's about, and I know if I like it or I know if I don't. Mm -hmm. But also, at the same time, so I read Shikoku no Altair, I read this in 2012. The anime came out in 2012 and I didn't know it came out. I didn't know it got an anime till I saw it four months ago on Amazon Prime. I, I had no clue, partially because it was a pirating website and obviously they don't advertise when there's an anime, yeah. right? And partially because the title was different and I just wasn't looking at anime at that time. Like I wasn't looking to, to me, it didn't seem like it would have been something that had an anime. It seemed pretty niche. It's kind of Ottoman Empire-esque. It's pretty niche. But I think in a lot of ways, I personally find the manga better, but that's because I'm a fast reader and I go through a lot of manga. So it gives me a wide variety. On a story level, the manga is 99% of the time superior. Yeah. I think generally speaking, it's rare you find an anime that's better on a story level than the source material. And I think that could actually be translated just into movies and TV in general. We yeah. talked about this, is that some things just don't make the cut. You have a, you have a set runtime, you have a set amount of episodes, certain things are just not gonna make the cut. At the same time, that's only one part of the anime. I think that gets glossed over a lot in the discussion because you have the animation and the soundtrack there's a reason why there was a lot more fan outrage for in Seven Deadly Sins, there was a recent really badly animated fight that people loved from the originals. There was a lot more outrage in that than there was from say, a bad, a badly written arc of Sword Art Online or something. Yeah, like I've, and to, to put this in an example, I understand, like I've never seen someone complain about like the writing or the drawing of the Naruto manga, but there are, thousands of compilations online of that one pain versus naruto fight where his face is just not a thing like his face and body just don't there was zero animation effort put in they just do not move they move like a stretch armstrong doll on crack <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible but you know i think that's what the anime it's about the overall like everything together because the story obviously is that source material but everything else when you actually watch it all together that's where the art from the anime comes. that's where the anime becomes worth it in its own right and i think that in some ways is a better hook for some people than just the straight story yeah like i uh one of my favorite things about one piece is the opening songs like one piece genuinely has 23 fantastic openings same thing with full metal alchemist Genuinely, I love those songs so much. So many of them are so fitting to the show. And you don't get that reading just a manga, mm -hmm. right? You don't get like an opening song or you don't get to hear a character the way that the author wants that character to sound, you know? Like it's, and there is something to that. Like authors have some input in anime, some more than others, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the same thing as um, authors have input in movies in Western culture. And in some ways, being able to see or hear what the author intended you to see in here is so powerful because you can apply that to the manga. 
which can really heighten your experience. So I don't, I don't think you should stick just to manga. But I also think that, you know, you need to be aware that if an anime ends before it's done, that's not the end all be all. Go read it. Yeah. You know, web novels, web comics, webtoons, everything. There are series that I have finished the anime. I didn't care for the story, but my God, that animation was godly. And that's what kept me going through it. I would never continue on the story because I'm not going to get that animation. Well, for example, I'm an, you know, unpopular opinion. I'm highly likely never to actually read Demon Slayer or Mm -hmm. at least not anytime soon. It's not, it, I liked the show. I did a lot. I gave it a really good score, but personally, it didn't necessarily grab me in a, in a special way. So I'm highly unlikely to ever seek out the manga on my own, right? But I will watch the anime. And knowing that it's there, I'm not against reading more of it. If, for example, when I watch the other half of the anime, something changes. And again, this is hinting at the next episode, but Another reason why it's a little harder to say, I'm going to continue with the manga is because it's such a money sink. Yeah, because if, if you're really dedicated to an author's work, you really want to support them. One of my favorite web comics ever, uh, Solo Leveling, has not, so it was released in Korean. And the only way I can buy the physical book of it is in Korean, right? I don't have an English option to buy the physical book. And I want to support this author so much, but... I don't read Korean fluently, you know? Like I, I have the, the alphabet understanding, but I don't have the vocabulary necessary. And that's so unfortunate, I think. I would pay for an English translation, you know? Mm-hmm. And this is true of several things I've read. There are mangas I've read that were never fully translated in English officially, you know? And I think it's really unfortunate that there's no way to get those without pirating them sometimes. And I think that also, because of all the streaming that we do uh, as a culture, just Mm -hmm. around the world, because of all the streaming we do, anime is very easy to find. Yeah. Somebody's put an English subtitle on it. You know, it doesn't even have to be a dub. It can be a subtitle. But with manga, the other thing is so, like I said, 95% of manga probably never even make it to anime, right? And so that's a lot more media and there's a lot fewer ways to translate it legally. Like you're either buying it at like Barnes and Nobles or off of Amazon translated into English. And either way, the books are a minimum of $9.99 to $12.99, if not more per book. Think about One Piece. That is currently 96 volumes at $10 a piece. You're not including tax, you're spending $1,000 just buying like maybe the equivalent of like the word content of like three Aragon books. Yeah, and that makes it so much harder to jump in to like that. It's so expensive. It's easier to stay up. Okay, actually in Japan, it's easier to stay up to date than it is in America. And we'll talk about that because it has to do with their magazine publications. But for example, Shonen Jump and Weekly Shonen, neither of them are currently active in the US. One stopped publishing in 2012 and one stopped publishing in 2016. You catch up. You can't just subscribe to a magazine and get each new chapter as it comes out. Mm -hmm. You're subscribing to that. You're finishing up and then you're buying every, like you buy all the books to catch up and you're still buying books to keep up. Yeah. It's just not financially feasible in a lot of ways, especially if you're in elementary school, middle school, high school, even if you're a young adult at the college level, you do not have a thousand dollars of disposable income necessarily to just spend on buying one book series. Yeah, if I were to read one piece, I would borrow it from Seki because I sure as hell am not buying it myself at this point. And even I, like, I don't feel incredibly bad about this, but so I bought a few of them. I've bought maybe 10 volumes of one piece out of my own pocket for full price, but I actually had a very dear friend in high school who sold me the first 60 volumes in their entirety, pretty much, for a dollar a volume. So I got, I paid like 10% of their actual price. But also, I was in high school and there were already 60 volumes out and I did not have a job. My parents gave me like a very small allowance. Here's the thing, when you're doing what secular you're buying it off a friend for cheap or 
you're borrowing it from a friend. That's still not money that goes to support no. the creators. That's honestly as productive to the creators as piracy is. Yeah. It's the just only, legal. Yeah, the only saving grace I have about thinking about that is that my friend bought them for full yeah. price, which makes me feel somewhat better. But it's still... But like, if you weren't ever going to buy those to begin with, even if your friend hadn't bought them, you still wouldn't have been. Yeah. And it's, it can be unfortunate, but I think that's just an accessibility issue. Yeah. And I think that gets into why it's... Why people don't go from the anime to the manga very often. Yeah, but at the same time, sometimes it can be just as hard to find an anime. Uh, recently, I was looking to, uh, I wanted to uh, have the boys watch Shaman King for my next submission. Yeah. And I Google searched, <laughs> I went through like five pages of Google results, and I found two ways to watch it. I could buy the DVDs on Amazon for $25 per like a, a 12 episode segment on a 64 episode show. So I'd be spending at least a hundred dollars, if not more on this thing that I don't even really own a DVD player that's hooked up. Like I don't keep one hooked up mm -hmm. or, and I found a single website that kept only the dub. It didn't even, I couldn't even find the sub period. I think that's a carryover of a previous age because Shot like this is only this it only is an happens older with show. older shows. It is an older show. As far as newer shows go, that's never an issue. But with older shows, we're not taking into account the streaming wars. I I, I met our uh, recent uh, Delve into oh. Hentai. Oh, oh yeah. Well, <laughs> it was real hard. A single exception, and that's an exception to a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, that's it. Before I or I, let me finish up my point here, and then I'll yeah. bring up more about that show. Um. That's, that's very much something that only happens with older shows, and that becomes less and less of a problem as time goes like, Evon, Evon, but Evangelion was never accessible streaming-wise for the longest time. You had to buy the DVDs recently. It finally got picked up for streaming, and it was like a big thing because this show's been missing from the streaming age. Yeah. So over time, these things are coming in. It's just taking a while. Yeah, I, I will make it, a, I will say to that, but though, like, if I had an interest in watching Neon Genesis Evangelion in 12, in, like, when I was in 2012, I would have just pirated it. Yeah, that's the thing. Is I wasn't going to wait. I, there was no guarantee it would reappear. Yeah. And I think that's unfortunate, but... Yeah, it, it is unfortunate, but, oh, but that's the thing is, it, this is a problem that's becoming less and less over time. Manga hasn't really taken very many good steps to get out of their issue with that. No, it is harder to find older series. The other problem with manga is none of these are paid translations. Like these are people who are translating like for fun no. or like for ad revenue on a website they run. And what I have recently come across that I didn't know was a thing, but uh, I recently came across um, some web comics that people just ran through Google Translate. Well, this has been a problem. Like, you go back to pre-streaming anime, same exact issue with but, like that. But I've never read a manga that was just Google translated, taken straight from another language. And th the sad thing about that is a bad translation on a manga, right? Makes it unreadable. I dropped at least four different web comics and manga in the last week. Not because I didn't like the story. I thought the stories were amazing. But the translation errors were so bad that A, I had trouble understanding the storyline, and B, it was unreadable for a native English speaker. Unreadable. And that, in a lot of ways, makes the accessibility even worse, because if, if a manga gets downrated, or a webcomic, because its translation is terrible, when a better translation comes out, all those people that downrated it aren't necessarily going to give it another chance. I do want to move us a little bit back to the topic though because we, we really have straight off topic yeah there. the original topic was whether or not anime the mangas yeah. or the source material is always better than the anime and i'd say no ishizoku reviewers being a sign <laughs> <laughs> see i told you i'd bring it back <laughs> oh for those of you that don't know um the show is hentai the manga is not the manga is completely <laughs> pg rated <laughs> The manga you could read with your parents in the room. You cannot watch the show with your parents in the room. 
That is not an option. Do not do it. <laughs> also, use headphones. Porn is a universal sound across every language in the world. One thing I think that does translate to anime better than manga, and I do, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do for a while, comedy. Comedy does, because yeah. Because comedy, there's part of that is the comedic timing of it all. You can work that out in anime that you cannot quite work that. When you're at the manga, you have to trust that your readers are reading it at the pace you want them to yeah. so letting things sink in when you want them to. But alternatively, um, wordplay works better in manga. Yeah, but you don't, it's that in manga, you don't get that as often with no. translations. Because, no. okay, no, you get it a lot, actually. But we don't get it. Like, yeah. we literally don't get it. Yeah. Like, you can't, Monogatari is a completely yeah. different experience, from what I understand, between a Japanese person and an American person. But I will say, manga has the liberty that they can make a note beneath a panel or add an author's note at the end that explains a joke or See, references it. Anime but it's not as common, and a lot of people will often be like, oh, I didn't really... Like, I yeah, have friends who complain about reading subtitles. At the same time, something's so lost because that's explaining the joke. Yeah. That, that's, and that's like the bane of comedy. Right yeah. That, the com when, when it's comedy that are as universal or we're going to get it in the West as much as they get it in the East, it works better in the anime. I do think that there is a case you made. If, you're, if you speak the native Japanese language and you're, watching a com or you're reading a comedy manga, that wordplay is going to be gobbled. There's apparently some really good shit in there. I, I actually was watching a, a video the other day and I heard, I don't remember the name of it, but I heard this anime that the entire premise of the anime is that the entire anime, every episode, is just a 20 minute ongoing jokes made in the Japanese language that really only pl apply to the Japanese language, like puns and cultural references and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And the entire thing is done where you're like one of the audience members and the characters are on stage and this is what it kind of looks like. And you're watching them do this kind of like, but it's cultural and linguistic humor. So it doesn't translate. And this isn't the kind of shit you can do just by knowing the language. No. This is the kind of thing that you have to like, have grown up in that culture today. Yeah, like there, there's the joke that like um, Oni, like the demon Oni, and like yeah. Onis Nisan or like Onesan, you can kind of like make And then a, like, it's like, you take Oni for demon, Onisan for brother. Yeah, and you Onisan. go- Onisan. Yeah, and you're like demon or brother, and the person's like, oh no, that's just my demon, is the joke. But the subtitles will say, that's just my brother. That's the kind of thing that you cannot, like, that's one of the easiest examples to explain. Yeah. So I, I get it. And I think that, I think that keeping all this in mind, there's not necessarily, there, there is no precedence to watch or read one or the other. Yeah. You need to watch what you're comfortable with. And some people are more comfortable with a visual form of media, like watching. Some people find it easier to read stuff than to watch it. Some people find it easier. I've, uh, I've heard some people find it easier to read manga rather than to read subtitles in anime, right? Because uh, some of my friends say that the subtitles ruin the experience of anime for them, having to read on the screen, mm -hmm. which I don't personally have a problem with, but I understand it because you're watching a moving picture and also having to read. Whereas you don't have that when you're reading a manga. Yeah. You can read at your own pace. So I think it, in the end, it means that it's up to you. It, I mean, it's always up to you, but I think the easy answer is they have different qualities about them that do make them fundamentally different experiences, I think. And if a manga that you're reading has an anime that is a good anime, like you've heard that it's good or something, give it a try. Yeah. And vice versa. If you're watching an anime and you and it ended and you don't like it, go read the manga. I just think it's simplistic for people like, oh, I read the manga, I don't need to watch the anime. I watch the anime, I don't need to go back. It, no, they're not mutually exclusive. If you enjoy one, check out the other. Yeah, there, there are different things. Different things can happen. I mean, look at Bleach. The uh, Zanpakuto spirit arc is actually a really good arc, despite being filler. It's one of the best arcs the series ever produced. Or in my case, I think Demon Slayer was made almost entirely by the soundtrack and the animation. I think the story is pretty simple. Yeah, it's not anything outstanding, but 
some of the animation points look beautiful. Yeah. You know, like absolutely beautiful. And that's not something you would get in the manga. So I, I think there is, and then other times you have things being lost in the anime because you can't fit that many words in an anime. Yeah. Like, hey, I'm not getting in on that tangent. <laughs> yeah. That might be a, that might be its own rant for another, not even talking about Jutsu, yeah. just me screaming into a mic. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but I, I mean that's a, that's our thoughts on anime. And yeah, manga. I think we we share a lot of the same opinions. Yeah, yeah. I think you just read more manga and I watch more anime. Yeah, not a bad thing. It's not even for one good reason or the other. I no, think. I think I still enjoy the manga I read. Yeah. There are series I have on the manga, and I prefer watching some series in anime. You know. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, with that, that's pretty much the end of this discussion, so. What, you want me to say? No, you say it. You say it. Don't you stop. Try harder, everyone. Ha! <laughs> <laughs>